I'll tell you, we, we recently in December did a book giveaway event in partnership with a children's author right in the Bronx in New York. And we brought, well, I can tell you, two SUVs full of books, every seat except the driver's seat, and a minivan. So imagine everything is full of boxes and cartons and bins. Probably, I estimate, about four to 5,000 books. We distributed them to these children. The school has 400 and change children. All of them receive free hot lunch, which is something the state provides if they can't financially afford food. Um, it's kind of like if they hit a certain level and they'll provide that for you based on the demographics. And uh, the librarian told me <clears throat> over 100 of, ch- of the children were in temporary housing. So we did this wonderful event. And you, first of all, you feel this positive energy in the school. But then the most rewarding part is I'm still getting photos and letters from these students that she is texting me saying, dear Hindis, bless you and your friends and your family for giving us a book. This is one of the only books I have in my home. I read it to my little brother and this has made our week. Happy New Year. Much love. And this is from a nine-year-old. So to see that, first of all, that mature grasp of I don't I can't otherwise have this that breaks your heart right but then you have the part where they see how important it is and how special it is that they're able to have a book so to understand that they can get these gifts cherish them share them with loved ones that's the point that these books just keep traveling from hand to hand over the generations